Hi everyone, this is Carol Mortarati and I'm coming to you live and I'm with ForgiveAndConquer.com and I'm making this video today because I had several people reach out when I was speaking about forgiveness and they said that they didn't think forgiveness pertained to them because they didn't do anything wrong and so they don't need to forgive. In fact, the other person should reach out to them and ask for forgiveness. Well, my question to you is, how is that serving you? How is being stuck in unforgiveness showing up for you in your life? Are you stuck in your meaningful relationships? Are you stuck in your career? You know, or maybe achieving your goals? You know, it's actually proven that all those trapped emotions that you're keeping inside of you, all the blame, all the resentment, all that anger, all that guilt, all those trapped emotions are, that hurt your heart can actually cause you to be ill. So it's so important to know that the power of forgiveness, what's so important about it is that it puts the power back in your hands. And once you truly forgive someone, that releases all the pain that you're holding on to. And when you have truly forgiven someone, all you're left with is love. And when you love someone, you can't hate them at the same time because that's just not possible. So the other thing that's really important is, hey, Bernadette, thank you. Um, the other thing that's really important is you need to forgive yourself too. It's not just the other person. You need to forgive yourself as well. And once you truly forgive, you, like I said, you're going to, you're just going to release that pain and all of a sudden things are going to start showing up for you in your life. You're going to feel lighter, you're going to feel freer, and, and life will definitely have much more joy. So I challenge you guys to let me know what, maybe list one thing of what you're going to forgive, who you're going to forgive, maybe it's yourself. So let's see. Yep. Begin the process, definitely. On the first step is, uh, what's the first step on how do you forgive? Well, make a list of the people you think um, you need, uh, that, you, that you feel that have to f ask for forgiveness for you. And then, and then start the process, like write a letter, maybe expressing, uh, write down, you know, what you're feeling so upset about, you know, how you think they've wronged you, and um, and then you know release all that anger that you have in it, and then you could burn the paper. But the most thing is, is you really need to analyze: is is it worth staying angry and unforgiving this person? Is it worth it? Because it's only gonna it's it's not serving you well at all. You're only gonna continue to be you know hold on to. You're probably staying up at night. You're so angry. So it's only gonna keep you from moving forward in your life. So, so write it down, think about who you need to, for, who, who needs to um, ask for forgiveness from you, and then start one by one, start forgiving them. I'd love to hear if you do this, and awesome, how it feels once you truly have forgiven them. Just a quick thing, because I don't mean to go on and on, but um, I was so, I was so sad still brings tears to my eyes, but I was so sad when, when my ex-husband committed suicide, and I was holding on to all this pain and this anger, and I, I didn't know how he was going to go on, so I really worked on thinking about what was really the story here. The story was that, you know, he loved me, he loved his son, he loved his family, and he just couldn't overcome the challenges that he had. So what I did was I really learned, I, you know, I learned this process of forgiveness. And now when I think of him, all I think of is, is love and, you know, the joy that we had and that he gave me this most amazing child. So it's, oh, my life is so much, I might not look like it now because I'm, you know, I'm, I'm crying, but um, my life truly is so much lighter and freer, and um, I'm so thankful that I forgave him. And I also forgave myself, too, because we all play our parts in this. I love you, too, Nancy. Hey, hey Stacy. 
So anyway, um, I'll be putting a lot more videos out on forgiveness. I look forward to uh, any comments that you have and um, make sure you forgive and also forgive yourself. All right, bye for now.